Greetings and welcome to Rich Metzger's Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution Part 1 Introduction. Hey there, I'm Rich Metzger. Welcome to this video. And just a heads up right away, there will be no gameplay in this video. We'll get right to it in the next one, but I felt like making a brief introduction to look back on since I think that this will be a long series. Uh, I'm going to go over who I am, what I'm doing, and why I'm doing it. I'm Rich Metzger, I'm 33 years old, and I live just outside of Detroit. I've been gaming since I could pick up a controller at the ripe age of three. I started with Mario Brothers and Zelda on the, uh, almost said Super Nintendo, on the Nintendo Entertainment System. When I was 12 years old, I had a family member pass, and I received a relatively small amount of money, but for a 12 year old, it was life changing. And I decided to buy a computer with that money. I bought an Acer Aspire with a Pentium 1 chip, 233 megahertz, 32 megabytes of RAM, and a 2 gigabyte hard drive. A beast, for sure. Uh, I also convinced my mom to get an AOL account, AOL 3.0 dial up internet service at age 12. And I would love to get into the glory days of AOL chat rooms and exploring that territory as a 12 year old, but I'll save that for another time. The first game I ever played online was Diablo <clears throat> on Battle.net. I've been a huge Blizzard fan since then, and some of my favorite games of that era uh, were Diablo 1 and 2, StarCraft, Warcraft 2 and 3, The Sims, Fallout 1 and 2 for sure, and of course the original Deus Ex. The last time I played Deus Ex, uh, I played through the original about eight years ago, but I've never played any of the sequels. For some reason, I just never got into it. I think Invisible War came out like four years after Deus Ex came out, and by that time I was in high school, partying, chasing girls, etc., and was probably playing different games on console. Um... <clears throat> But recently, I was goofing around on YouTube, and I found this video. Okay, this is a YouTube user named Ice and Jam. He's got like 500,000, oh, 435,000 subscribers. It's a big channel, and he does these soundboard prank calls. And the first one I discovered was um, Liam Neeson voicing the dad in Fallout 3 calling a water plant. Um <laughs> Let's see if it'll pick up the audio. We'll listen to a little bit of this. But I was rolling the first time I heard it. Yeah, that we, I, we don't know anything about that person. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. Boys and girls have different parts, right? And when a boy and a girl love each other... How the hell am I supposed to do this by myself? Is someone there? Uh, yes, I'm here. Anyways, I needed I'm not to waste too much time with that. Um, but after that one, I decided to watch more of this guy's channel, and he had one of J.C. Denton from Deus Ex calling uh, tech support scammers. It was hilarious. And then I followed that up by watching one he did with Alex Jensen from Human Revolution. And after I heard his voice lines, I was like, man, I want to play some Deus Ex. So I looked into Human Revolution and found out this is a really highly rated game. And I should probably play it. So in the last six months, I've been fortunate enough to be able to buy a new rig. You know, laptop, camera, microphone. Um, and now I have the capacity to stream and make content and play all the new games. And I didn't have this capacity before. So I'm ready to test this stuff out and have some fun. Um, the last time I worked on any YouTube content was in 2016. But it was my friend's project. He did all the technical work. And I just kind of acted in it and helped with the creative part of it. And I did have a short-lived web show around uh, 2007 or 2008 while I was unemployed for a bit. But I stopped making content for it once I started working. I just didn't have the time or determination, dedication to keep going with it at that time. But I do want to make some co content now, so I need a nice little warm-up project. Thus, my Let's Play of Deus Ex Human Revolution. And a few things that might make this Let's Play unique is that I've never done a Let's Play before. 
and I've never played this game before. I'll tell you what I do know in a minute, but a couple other things. I live, like I said, just outside of Detroit, and I work in the city, so I have a connection there. And this is some new news. CRISPR. All right, this is from CNET, Jackson Ryan, April 17th, 2019. CRISPR gene editing used in U.S. patients for the first time. Researchers treat cancer patients with experimental therapy. So some of you might have heard about that that guy in China that was working on embryos, and he was admonished for it, probably rightfully so in my opinion. But now uh, CRISPR got the green light to do this trial in 2016, and they're just now starting to work on it on humans. So this is big, and I think it fits right in with the timing to get into human revolution, especially for me because I've never played the game before. So I'm really excited to dig in. Um, hopefully my natural reactions to the game will be enjoyable. <clears throat> I'll be taking my time digging into the lore. And I might go on some tangents talking about how the themes explored in Deus Ex uh, make me think and feel about our current reality and what's happening today. So like I said, I'm not completely blind going into this. I played the first few missions before I decided to do a Let's Play. I haven't fought a boss yet. Uh, I haven't made it outside of Detroit. I did read a little bit about character builds and the augmentation, so I do know kind of what direction I want to go in as far as how I develop my Adam Jensen, but I don't know any secrets, and I won't be referring to any guides. So that's about it. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to close this one out and get started with the actual gameplay, and we're going to jump right into it. I'll see you there.